Hi, this is Dave from Megapoints Controllers. I'm just doing a little engineering update to show what we've been up to over the past few months with our software. We're about to release a new feature for the System 2 servo driver and I thought I'd just share with you a quick peek as to what we've been doing and what you can expect. Here's your typical System 2 servo driver and it's connected to a panel controller via a button and this you'll be familiar with. Press the button and the servo moves or point or signal or whatever. Press the button again and it stops and we're communicating via these two wires here on the CAN network. <clears throat> now I've long wanted to add support for JMRI because I think the guys do an excellent job and it's open source it's been around for ages so I want to support it and I want to connect to it and I want to connect to it in both to, to be able to send data and to receive it. So if we take a look at the servo driver configuration page I've added a protocol section here. If I press that twice it goes from native to JMRI and it uses uh, an MQTT broker which is running on the JMRI PC, this one in this case. Uh, it's done a background connection and now I have a hookup to, um, to JMRI. I've added a, a, a simple switchboard here. So if I click a button, the servos are moving and the buttons are changing color. And you can see on this, on the turnout table, uh, you can see the state of a point. So V port number one is thrown and now it's closed and back to thrown. This is the commanded state. But I've also answered, uh, created eight sensors below here. And if you look at the state of the sensor, this is uh, sensor 161, which corresponds to V port 161 here. As I throw that, when the servo moves and arrives at its end position, then the uh, sensor should reflect that. So we'll look at it here and it's closed. Let's do the next one and it's closed and so on. So this is reading the state of the layout as well. I've also made a simple panel in Panel Pro. So if I operate this turnout here, then it will throw a pair to, to make this road. Here's another pair. And these two I've set as individuals so I can throw one servo at a time. Got a simple panel, but it, uh, it does the job and it il illustrates how straightforward it was to configure this using uh, MQTT. So the additional parameters you'll want are to set the protocol for JMRI the name of your MQTT broker here and the broker port, and that's the default of port 1883. The broker I'm using is the Mosquito broker and the details for configuring this free software are also on the JMRI website. So things I want to do to take this further, um, JMRI has um, its own method of deciding how it wants things to look. In fact, if I go to the configuration, call that up here, you can see the parameters for the, um, let's resize that, it looks a bit silly, for the MQTT. So it's got track send topic, track turnout, track sensor, track light, track reporter, signal head, and so on. So they break things down into various categories. But with our system, it, the idea is that with each V port, anything could be hanging off that V port address. So it's necessary to run multiple protocols. If I click this protocol button again, it will toggle back to CAN. Then it will go to native. And native is the system two native protocol, which looks more like the V port assignments we have here. here. Um, it's not fully implemented yet on native, but with native, it will basically give you the same functionality that we have through the CAN bus, but over Wi-Fi. So it'll talk to your local MQTT broker and uh, you don't have to connect the network. So at that point, um, as a customer, you'll be able to take a servo driver 
either run it against panels wired, run it against panels uh, over Wi-Fi and MQTT, or just take this board and connect it directly to JMRI uh, with nothing extra. So this is effectively a, uh, a Wi-Fi controlled, JMRI controlled um, servo driver that you can put on your network. Where are we now? It's the 18th of February and I expect to make this update available via the online software update about towards the end of the month. So um, you'll be able to just download it if you're curious. And uh, if you happen to have a JMRI installation and you're looking for a servo driver, then this is an excellent way of achieving that. And you can save yourself a bit of wiring at the same time. So what I've done now is I've isolated the servo driver and I have a separate power lead connected to a battery, a 12 volt battery. So I'm going to connect the power lead to the 12 volt ports here. The board's gonna boot and start. And now we can see it's under control, but there's nothing connected to the network port. In fact, in this case, I'm just using an open source client so I can now drive my points from my phone as well. And that's one advantage of MQTT in that it opens a lot of possibilities. So with a simple app like this, there's number eight moving, there's number one moving. So I hope you find this of interest. I'm quite excited to get this implemented. I have a few optimizations to make yet, but um, I'm confident we'll have it sorted for the end of the month. This is in uh, native mode at the moment, not JMRI mode and that's why I'm able to talk to it through my mobile phone. I hope that little update was of interest. I'm excited to get the MQTT implemented. Uh, once we've done it for the servo driver, we'll then roll it for all the other products that we have and the products that are coming as well. Um, we are also working on a DCC gateway uh, here it is, uh, the first version. It's not complete yet, so we're working on it. So you'll connect your DCC uh, bus to this connector, and then you'll do the usual connectors here. And this will just take any accessory port. What is the range from one to 2,000 or one to 4,000? And it'll simply translate it into a V port and allow you to control your system through DCC. Other products on the go, let's have a look. We have, this, this is a prototype 32 port panel driver, effectively, or an input driver. So it's a bit like a, a panel controller that you saw, except this just does inputs. So it's got twice as many inputs. So these could be switches on a mimic panel, or they could be sensors, occupancy sensors, or block detectors, or point position indicators, uh, anywhere on your layout. So if you have a fiddle yard, or a high density of blocks, then this would be great to put on the layout. And the opposite of that board is the, the 32 port um, LED driver, which is effectively two of those makes a uh, double size panel controller, if you will. So it's the complement of this and it allows you to hook up 32 pairs of LEDs. So if you're making a particularly large panel, it may be beneficial to do this. I'm just giving you more choice. How you do it is entirely up to you. And because it's system two and all the V ports are configurable by you, you can mix and match any of this uh, and it'll just work fine. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next update.